Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to connect Squarespace domain to Shopify. First, let's try to take a look at what domain actually is. So I'm going to try and search for website domain explain and it says over here that a web domain is an actual presence on the internet such as a web page. Specifically speaking, a web domain's name is a substitute that replaces the internet protocol or IP address. For example, we can replace the IP address from a bunch of number with a domain name such as www.study.com. So basically, domain is a name of a page that are going to make it easier for people if they want to try to search for our website or maybe our online store. So instead of having a bunch of number as your website name, you can rename it into something that is going to be easily found and it's going to affect the discovery of your channel by other people. Now, as you know, Shopify is one of a platform that allows you to create an online store and when you create a store in Shopify, usually you will get a free domain and it will consist of some random numbers and myshopify.com. So if you would like to change your domain, you can actually do it directly with Shopify, but you can also buy your domain through other website and that website could be from Squarespace. So over here, I'm going to go to Squarespace and you're going to want to obviously have an account in both Shopify as well as Squarespace. In order to create your account, both of them are going to be free, but to have a domain on Squarespace, you're going to have to pay. And if you would like to continue using Shopify after your 30 days free trial, you're going to have to pay a certain amount. And I think if you want to build up your business, they're going to be worth it. So go ahead and try the free trials first and then try to see if you would like to continue using their web page or not. So here in Squarespace, I'm showing you all of the product that they have. They offer website overview, website template. They offer you to create portfolio, blogs, analytics. They also have e-commerce overview, templates for sellers, sales products and services, etc. You can take a look at their web page if you want. Or you can also create a new website with Squarespace. They're going to offer you free trial, so go ahead and try that if you want. But now we're going to focus on creating a domain. So after you create an account in Squarespace, you're going to want to take a look at your dashboard and it's going to show a dashboard for your web page if you create one and a dashboard for your domain. Over here, I haven't got any domain yet, but you can see that there is an option to transfer a domain if I would want to transfer other domains to my Squarespace or create a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new one. And over here, it says that we can start to create our domain name over here. And if you would like to know more about how this works, you can always click on the how it works options that are going to appear on the top side of your screen and there is some points that you can read it says that you can explore their domain name search tool for your name business or brand you can check the availability of domains name on a wide range you can select one or more domain names and domain extension you can complete your domain registration with Squarespace so you can manage them in one place and then you can check out and pay. As I said earlier, in order to create a domain in Squarespace, you're going to have to pay and the amount of payment you will have to make depends on your domain name. And I'm going to show you what, what I meant by that in a minute. So here I'm entering the name of my product. So here I'm entering the name of my shop, which is Eyes of the Sun. And I have a selections of domain that I can choose. There is eyesofthesun.org, there is eyesofthesuns.com, eyes of the sun, there is eyesofthesun.com, eyesofthesun.com, etc. As you can see, they comes in a variety of price range. There is one that is quite affordable and there is one that is quite expensive and it depends on how unique your domain name will be and if you scroll all the way down you can always search for more and 
you can see that the payment that they're going to ask of you is a yearly payment so for some name it's actually quite affordable it's around one dollar a year if i'm not wrong so the price range comes from around one dollars a year up to prices that are more expensive again it depends on how unique you want your domain name is and earlier i tried to change my domain name into the abbreviations of my shop it still works the same and the price range is quite similar and if you remember earlier when we read on the how it works section you can actually buy more than one domain so let's say you will want to create several domain for several uses of your businesses you can do that by simply clicking on the domain that you will want to use and then you can check them out together so that you will get everything in one go i'm just going to try to choose one for now so as you can see i added the domain into my cart and then i can just go ahead and click on checkout and then it's going to bring me to the next step that i have to do in order to get my domain so over here we got the registration page and you're going to want to insert your detail and you can also see the price detail on the right side of your screen it's going to show our subtotal and the first year discount as well as the taxes etc so you can go ahead and recheck your name add in your phone numbers add your address and then after that you can go and finish all of the detailing and then at the very they're going to ask you on how you would like to pay your domain with, whether it's with credit card or debit card. And you can also change the currency. So the first time I open this Squarespace, it's going to give me my currency, but you can also change it to dollars if it's going to make it easier for you to calculate on how much does this domain price is. So you can go ahead and do that if you want. And after you finish checking out your domain, you're going to go back to your Shopify. And if you haven't created your domain yet on your dashboard, this add a custom domain options are going to appear. Go ahead and add that domain. But you can also search from the setting option. If you click on the gear symbol on the bottom left of your screen, you're going to find these domain option. It works totally the same. So what you're going to do is you can disconnect your existing domain if you want to use that domain that you just bought from Squarespace. And then you can go ahead and paste your domain onto Shopify. And then once you do that, you can click on next and your domain is going to be connected to Shopify. And that's basically it. That is how you can add Squarespace domain to your Shopify. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a great day.